Happy 4th of July, a day that's not only the birthday of the United States of America, but also the feast day of a great woman who loved the poor and was a peacemaker. Her name is Elizabeth, and she was Queen of Portugal. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and this great woman whom the Church holds up as an example for us today lived around the year 1300. She didn't have it easy, for she was married to a man who was unfaithful to her. She ended up raising two of his illegitimate children along with her own, and after he died, she became a secular Franciscan, giving away her royal possessions for the care of the sick and the poor. Let's listen now to something Pope Benedict said when he visited St. Elizabeth's homeland of Portugal last year. Focusing her attention upon her own saints, this local church has rightly concluded that today's pastoral priority is to make each Christian man and woman a radiant presence of the gospel perspective in the midst of the world, in the family, in culture, in the economy, in politics. Dear brothers and sisters, dear young friends, Christ is always with us and always walks with his church, accompanies her and guards her as he has told us. I am with you always to the close of the age. Never doubt his presence. Learn to listen to his word and also to recognize him in the poor. Live your lives with joy and enthusiasm, sure of his presence and of his unconditional, generous friendship, faithful even to death on the cross. Bear witness to all of the joy that his strong yet gentle presence evokes, starting with your contemporaries. Tell them that it is beautiful to be a friend of Jesus and that it is well worth following him.